Much of the store-bought food in the United States contain incomprehensible ingredients and employ labelling tactics designed to confuse consumers and understanding the nature of snacks and meals can often prove difficult. Regulation of additives purported to add shelf life and vibrancy to products is relatively relaxed which has resulted in a disconnect between the United States and other countries when it comes to these preservatives. Eating Skittles can be a tasty experience, but you are also potentially partaking in a handful of additives that have been banned in numerous other countries. Skittles include both Yellow 5 and Yellow 6, artificial food dyes that have raised flags due to their potential adverse effects. Some researchers found a possible correlation between yellow 5 and heightened hyperactivity in children, while rat studies exploring yellow 6 have uncovered potential links to cancer. Craft stove top stuffing takes a mere five minutes but the popular mix contains the preservatives butylated hydroxynosol and butylated hydroxytylene, which have raised concerns due to suspicions of potential carcinogenic properties and their potential to hinder blood clotting. The same applies to their instant mashed potatoes, which often contain BHA to keep it from spoiling on the shelf. These preservatives are banned in the United Kingdom, Japan and other European nations. These popular American desserts feature yellow 5 and red 40. While these dyes now have approval within the European Union, they must be accompanied by cautionary labels indicating their potential to trigger adverse effects in children. Unfortunately, these dyes are often in food products intended for infants and young children, but no precautionary labelling is mandated domestically. Austria, Finland and Norway have banned Twinkies completely. Pillsbury Doughboy's biscuits allow you to enjoy the freshly baked biscuits within minutes. But it is important to note that these baked goods contain partially hydrogenated soybean oil, a trans fat that has been linked to heart disease. In addition to the pre-made dough, Partially hydrogenated soybean oil can also be found in various other United States snacks. Potassium bromate finds its way into bread dough to enhance its structural integrity, yielding a more substantial rise, cutting down on baking time and imparting a pristine white colour to the final loaves. Worryingly, this chemical is also associated with adverse health effects, including cancer, impairment of the nervous system and damage to the kidneys. Potassium bromate has been banned in many countries but remains prevalent in numerous American baked products. Made from a blend of pure fructose and sugar, this sweetening agent has been associated with an array of health concerns, including obesity and type 2 diabetes. It can be found in a wide spectrum of products, ranging from beverages to cereals and ice cream. No country has yet implemented an outright ban on this sweetener, but measures have been taken in the United Kingdom and several European countries involving product restrictions and quota limitations. Cuts of pork tend to be much larger in the United States than in other parts of the world. Why? Because American pork contains growth hormones. One of these, called ractopamine, is often employed in pig farming and is banned in numerous countries. Research concerning the potential effects of ractopamine consumed on human health is somewhat limited. Certain studies have found a correlation between this growth hormone and an increase in heart rate. In the United States, the practice of washing chicken in chlorine is done to mitigate the potential spread of foodborne illnesses, particularly salmonella. 
It is not just used to wash chicken either. Chlorine can also be found in produce like canned vegetables, other meats and many baked goods. This food safety approach is prohibited in the United Kingdom and the European Union with concerns at it being synonymous with unhygienic farming methods.